Hey guys, Travis Gillespie. And we've been working with rates and ratios, and we're now using tables to help us find unknown information. So before we move forward, just remember, whenever you're reading a word problem and you're trying to build a ratio from that word problem, you always write it as, that should be an A. Let's go ahead and fix that real quick. Write it as you say it or read it. Cool, now we can read through this problem, and I'm only going to read, read through the first two sentences. Buy a lot market has tomatoes on sale. The table shows some sale prices. I'm going to pause and move down to the table real quick. I see information about the weight. I see information about the cost or price. Before I move forward into this last sentence, I'm going to ask myself, am I reading about price or am I reading about weight first? Predict how much a restaurant owner will pay. There's our indicator for price. So I know that when I write my ratio, price will come first. For 25 pounds, okay, there's the weight portion. So price to pounds will be the setup for my ratio. Now let's read through this last sentence again. Predict how much a restaurant owner will pay for 25 pounds of tomatoes at a rate shown in the table. Well, off to the side, I'm just going to create a fraction bar. And I've got to think about it. If I want to put 25 pounds in, un, in this fraction bar or set it up as a ratio, will it go on top for the price or will it go on bottom for the pounds? And of course, 25 pounds goes on bottom because it's the weight. So the unknown portion, I need to know how much I will pay. And I can use any of this information in the table to help me out. So I've got to ask myself, using the weight in the table, these values for weight, I've got to ask, do any of these values go into 25 real easy? And the first one, 5 pounds, goes into 25 real easy. So I could set up a ratio based off the information, 195 to 5 pounds. And... Set my ratio up as 195 to 5 pounds. The next step, all I have to do is ask myself, how do I get from 5 all the way over to 25? Well, we do that by multiplying by 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Whatever you do to the bottom, you've got to do to the top. So let's multiply by 5 on top and... 195 times 5 will give you a value of 975 will replace our unknown value. So you're paying $9.75 for 25 pounds. See you in the next video, guys. Thank you.